So almost a completely beautiful sunny day after the storm up to give the uh, sheep their breakfast and check what trees are down in the orchard, if any. Hey, hey, ja uh, Inca, leave it. They're all in here. Now, let's go see if there's any trees down. Ah, oh, it looks good. It looks good. No trees. So, my grandfather planted this orchard in 1940. And he wouldn't have known how time would evolve to create such a beautiful orchard and how I would use it after his death. Look at those rows. Now, this is an empty row here and someday I might plant more apple trees in it. The trees that were planted here were a biannual crop of apples, meaning they would only fruit once every two years. So, yeah, all the rows are fine. Even this really rotten tree. Look at this tree. It's still standing. I mean, there is a crack all the way around its base. You can see the woodworm is consuming it, turning it into soil. It's still hanging in there. That one branch there. I'd say there's no activities with the bees because it's still pretty cold out. No, they're quiet. But you can see an animal has been trying to get at the bees to eat them. Probably a badger or a hedgehog. Anyway, the hives are quiet at the moment because it's still pretty cold. So, the orchard's fine, no trees down. Yay, or branches for that matter. I mean, this one is literally hanging on by a thread. You can see the stress there. This is gonna come away. You can see the soil is being made already where it's rotting. That's soil there, look at that. Really good, anyway. Hey, come on, leave it. Come here, pups. Leave the neighbors alone. Come on, Ink. Good dogs. Anyway, beautiful sunny day. I have to walk around the rest of the farm, see if there's any trees down from the storm. The hazels are doing really well. These are all hazel trees that my grandfather used to crop and coppice. I should really be coppicing them as well. Look at this beautiful bit of kindling. And that's a beautiful bit of firewood. Yeah, someday I'll have to start coppicing them because they thrive better being coppiced, but then they have to be protected from the sheep when they're growing back. How are you girls? Another beautiful bit of kindling. You finished? And look, the hazels are beginning to let down their tendrils. Look at that. Oh, that's lovely. The hazels are beginning to show the first signs of spring. Look at that. Gorgeous. Self-pollinating. This is what self-pollinating looks like. The wind or wind pollination. The wind pollinates these trees. So that's a very old form before insects were around. So hazel trees are an old kind of tree. What's that red thing? Can't tell. Oh, it's, it's just before it drops. 
just before the tendril drops. It's exposing a bit of red and then it drops like that. So, uh, a raven flying overhead. So here you can see the several different stages of hazel. Hello, how are you, ear feather? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, I'm gonna pick up my um, kindling that I dropped to have a closer look at the, yeah. Now this is my kindling, yeah. You could grow up. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you with the stick. That was not intended. <laughs> hey, 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 leave it. Come on, a little bit. A uh, little bit. You're still lame. I'll have to treat you again. Go on. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Leave it. Good girl. Java? Good boy. Good boy. Anyway. I just do, I love the lichen. So many different colors. Ah, uh, that's sad. This tree has uh, been pushed over by the wind. That's very sad. It was a big fruit tree. Oh, it was dying. That's very rotten. So, it was bearing leaves and everything in blossom. So that's very sad. Yeah, what's in there? Inca, you're getting right in under it. <clears throat> that's really sad. But it's definitely, it was dying. Look at the uh, life on the trunk. Look at that. So beautiful. I love these these kind of lichen. Oh look, I've got a dog up here now. But these little trumpet lichens are so beautiful. And they go pink and red. You can see how tiny they are with Inca's feet. But they're so beautiful. I love these. Just gorgeous. And of course the mosses. So you can see here there's different kinds of lichens and mosses and fungi all on this tree trunk. What I might do is save this tree trunk just so that I can preserve those. Maybe if we chop it here that will go upright and they can live. Because look, they're all here as well. All along here. Look at that. Just glory. Oh. Maya says it's a good tree to climb now. Well, that's the first tree blown over. I've got to go give hay to the horses so that I can release them. But uh, that's one tree down. And all these other ones are okay. The oak trees are fine. So I've got to do the horse's hay. Okay, yeah, look, see, this is a different kind of lichen again, or lichen, whatever you want to call it. Isn't that right, Pop? Yes.
Okay, very sad. I always hate losing fruit trees because of their blossom for the pollinators, but also for their fruit for us and the birds. Oh well, say lovey. So far, only one tree down. seems all it's done is blow some of the electric fencing a bit about. Otherwise, it's looking okay. I have to go into that lower field. Beautiful sunny day after last night's storm. Isn't that right? You clever pup. Can you move? Thank you. I'm delivering some hay up until I get uh, more bales. I'm getting more bales but uh, they will come hopefully sometime um, this week. And then I can put a bale of hay out. But at the moment they're on rations, but they'll get plenty because they have the bale at night. So they have all the feed they need. So I'm gonna put that in there and fix the electric fencing. Well, that's done. Quick and easy. Some in the ring and some outside the ring. Now to fix that fence. So, hay's out. Fence is fixed. And I'm going to head back and go and let the horses out and see if there's any other trees down anywhere. You can see the clouds rolling in again. We're due another storm, not as substantial as uh, Aisha, but uh, that's on Tuesday night, so in 24 hours or so. So we're not out of storm season yet, but luckily these big old beech trees, you can see other storms is taken out. There are beech trees here and there, and those were all taken. So luckily these are fine for the moment. Anyway, this field is okay. Hey ladies, you can see Ebony's face is getting a lot better. It's not so scabby. The cream and shelter, she's doing better as well. Uh, makes their faces recover more. You guys, just take it easy, okay? No more French scrabbling and galloping, okay? calm. Well, they love their freedom. Bear staying out of the way. Well, they've got hay up there. So far in the woods, Everything's okay. I'm gonna add this branch to the Hedgehog Hotel or apartment block or whatever you wanna call it. This is a pile 
that we're always adding to. And hedgehogs live inside that. They have their babies and they hibernate in there. You can see the bluebells are coming up and the cow parsley. That's one of the entrances ways to the Hedgehog Hotel is right there. They have several different entrances. And look, the snowdrops are all coming up. Snowdrops, yay! Always a sign of spring. I want to come up into these woods and see if any trees have come down. There's this group of snowdrops. Uh, I'm going to divide this year and spread out in this whole area. So, up here I've been sowing loads of snowdrops. And they're just beginning to come up. But they're only, some of them are only here two years, and some I sowed last year. So, these ones were sowed as individuals, but you can see they're already multiplying. And they were sown here two years ago. You see, they've already got more babies or more plants. But I've sowed, the bluebells are all doing their own thing. There's loads of bluebells here. And there's wood anemones and all kinds of things. But it looks like the trees are all okay in this part of the woods. Over here, you can see these are beginning to come up. These are the wood anemones. And this area is a carpet of them. I transplanted some up here about 25 years ago. That might not have been that long ago. Between 20 and 24 years ago. And they've been spreading out. They won't come out till later. So, these are our woods. There you can see the trees. There's cherry, ash. There's a lime over there, elder. There's not much beech in this wood. In that section up there, I want to plant some oak at some stage. Some of my baby oaks that I grew from acorns. So, going down this pathway. Yeah, no, it looks okay. That's long time fallen. I love this woodland glade here. I've been working for years in getting the snowdrops and bluebells and cow parsley. You come through, behind me is a bit of this bit of woodland, and then there's the holly on either side, this massive beech tree. And then in here you'll see loads of bluebells, cow parsley, and you come down a bit further and there's the snowdrops. Loads of snowdrops, all planted here over the last um, 15 years. And I started up there with the snowdrops. And those I'm already dividing up again. But in here, there's beautiful snowdrops. What I love is with the sun on them, they're just gorgeous. Here's more cow parsley. And see, loads of snowdrops. And then you look up and it's beautiful treetops. Beech, ash, horse chestnut. Scots pine. It's gorgeous. I love this woodland glade here. So far, so good. No trees blown down. What I love is gorse. Look at that. 
We've had this freezing wind, weather and everything, and it's still in bloom. Always it blooms. Something to always have on your land if you're interested in biodiversity. Full of insects. Great for nesting for birds. Look at that. All these are going to be blooms coming up. Anyway, it looks like so far only one tree down from the storm. That fruit tree. Everything else looks fine. The great oak tree standing beautiful and proud still. So looks all okay. So we only lost one tree so far that I can find. The horses are ready to come in already. The next storm is coming called Storm Jocelyn. And they only name the storms if they're gonna do significant damage or have the ability to. So far, this last storm, knock on wood, knock on wood, we uh, didn't get much damage except for that one fruit tree. So, letting these guys in. Yeah? You ready to come in, beautiful? Be easy. Woo! They wanna come in. There's a cold wind blowing and it's only gonna get worse and loads of rain. Good boy, Java, you didn't chase them. You good boy, yeah.